Let's go out there and talk a little bit more about that. It's a live picture from Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. The coastal storm still creating a nasty look there, dangerous conditions. Let's go out to Fox Weather meteorologist Bob Van Dillen, who's in Winnebow, North Carolina, about 15 miles west of that camera and Wrightsville Beach. Bob, the flooding has been so extensive. It's come with a number number of other hazards, too. I, I just got word that, that you broke out the, the first aid kit. Yeah, I haven't had a chance yet, but you believe it's some fire, right? Climbed all the way up and tagged me right in the back of my neck. I'm like, I wasn't even by your stupid colony as you're floating by. So, yeah, the floodwaters, you want to stay away from it. And something is interesting, too, Ian, we just noticed. We got here about 20 minutes ago. It's like a little median, little triangle before you can turn. This was dry before. So now we're looking at the flood water. It's kind of moving around a little bit. It's all coming off of that field, and that field looks like it's old corn stalks right there. But everything is drifting over on this direction. So this is 17. It's looking west. So I'm on the westbound side, and it's all drifting over. So all the rainwater that fell even outside of that is now collecting in this area. There's a swamp around here. The whole thing is really called Bell Swamp, this entire region. Everything is drifting over in this direction. But if you look, I mean, we've got stuff that's drifting over across the road. you got people that are trying to make its way through. Uh, yeah, I mean, even the high-water vehicles are having a tough time. But you can see the whitewater rapids, right? If you're looking on the other side of the road, this is the eastbound side right here. You can see all the water going right down the median onto the other side of the lanes and then going right on down into the creek right here. And it, you can hear it. I mean, it's loud. It sounds like rapids. I mean, that's not supposed to be like that. But when you drop over a foot of rain in a short period of time and then it's intermittent, like off and on for the entire afternoon hours. Finally, it's dried out for the last, I'd say, 45 minutes. We haven't had any rain. But, man, when it came down, Ian, it came down well. All the animals trying to trying to uh, reach higher ground, including my buddy right here. He's been on my, my mic for the last couple of, couple of uh, minutes, and I, I don't have the heart to kick him off into the water. So I'm just going to let the grasshopper stay on top of the microphone. I've got no issues with that. Good guy. So, yeah, we've got all this going in, and now we're starting to see this floodwaters rise. So, Ian, this might, in fact, be the last time I'm going to be standing here because it is beginning to rise a bit. It's even getting a little bit closer to our cars, you guys. See that? So we're not going to cut it short, and we're going to do a little Yui, and we're going to get out of here. But this is what it looks like on 17, going westward. You can see how deep it is. Cars are trying not to go back and forth. I've only seen a couple of big high trucks, like the 250s, F-250, some dualies trying to go by, too. And uh, the high water rescues, I've seen them go through. And also, one big fire hook and ladder went by also. But that's it. Otherwise, uh, it's been dead, Ian. Yeah, the trend is not good there. That's a live report. I guess we could call it Bob Van Dillen and friends, but it is such a challenge. Yes. If you're wondering why it's hard to get around or even impossible in spots, you see the reason. Oh, here comes a, we got a, Ian, we got a yeah. high water vehicle that's going to come in right here. Okay. I can see it. Here comes a high water rescue. It's coming behind our car right now. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to cause a wave if he goes. I don't know which way he's going to go. Yeah, he's going to go on my, uh, my left. So here it comes, you guys. We're about to get our feet wet, but hey, man, do what you got to do. Here he goes. This is what we've been watching one of these trucks go by, Ian, back and forth for the last several hours. And those trucks can make it. But, I mean, you know, it's not, it's not easy. Watch how deep it gets when it goes right up across the uh, bend right there. You can see it's moving pretty well, kicking up the boat like, a, like it's a boat wake right there. Pretty deep. But yeah. those are the only trucks that are safe to go back and forth. So, I mean, that's just a testament to how deep this water actually is, Ian. There goes another high-water rescue truck from the fire department. Yeah, good point to make there, Bob. If you don't have a vehicle like that, please uh, stay out of those waters, especially when you consider, yeah, look at it now. That water is moving. It's not yeah. like this is still water. So that's a, another consideration and something else that makes this dangerous. Bob Van Dillon exactly. will be checking Swift. back in. Yeah, it's Swift. Thank you.